folks, welcome back to my channel. Happy Monday to you all. Uh, I'm super excited to share a very simple uh, instant pot brown rice pilaf today. It's a no onion, no garlic version and there isn't much chopping involved. You can whip this recipe in no time with minimal effort. So let's get started. So the instant pot is in the saute mode and the display is showing hot. I'm going to add uh, one tablespoon of neutral oil. Uh, you can use any cooking oil of your choice. Uh, you can also include ghee or butter but I'm gonna keep this vegan today so I'm going with oil. And here I have one teaspoon of cumin seeds and half teaspoon of fennel seeds. So I'm just gonna add that and one bay leaf, one green chilli, small green chilli that I slid into half and two cardamom, three cloves and one inch cinnamon stick. I'm just gonna add everything and just give it a quick mix. So here I have uh, two tablespoons of uh, corn and peas. These are frozen but I bought it for room temperature. It just adds a uh, texture and uh, color to the rice but it's not mandatory. So I'm just adding two tablespoons of each and four mint leaves, fresh one. I'm just gonna uh, cut into few pieces and add the mint leaves as well. Just stir it for 30 seconds and then we can add the rice. Now I'm going to add one cup of long grain brown rice. I just uh, rinse this rice. I did not soak. So, rinse and drain the water completely and add the rice. These are the long grain variety. Just give it a quick mix. Now I'm going to add one three by fourth cup of water. One and three by fourth cup of water. Sorry, and half teaspoon of salt. Usually I pair this rice with uh, uh, vegetable curry or lentil curry. It really goes well with dal. So I always go with less amount of salt. You can also serve this with uh, cucumber raita or uh, onion raita. In that case, you can add a um, little bit more salt, probably uh, 3 by 4 teaspoon, but not more than that. So gently mix it and that's it. I'm going to close the instant pot and pressure cook it for 25 minutes on high pressure mode. And also I'm going to release the pressure naturally. So I'm going to press the cancel first and then close the instant pot make sure the vent is in the sealing position and I'm gonna pressure cook it for 25 minutes so I'll catch you when the pressure is all released so as you can see I went with uh, one 3 by 4 cup of water for one cup of brown rice which is uh, completely different from the instant pot companion books cooking chart um, for any grains the age quality and the variety of the grain be it white rice, brown rice, basmati rice or any other grains like steel cut oats, uh, farro, barley. Uh, it completely depends upon these factors and also your personal cooking preference, you know the texture preference. So we like soft uh, brown rice so that's why I went with 25 minutes of cooking time and also one 3 by 4 cup of water. So you can adjust this according to your personal preference. Always start with uh, less amount of water and also start with less cooking time. Like you know you can start from 22 minutes or 23 minutes and then depending upon your personal preference you can adjust the time. This works perfectly fine for the long grain brown rice. So hey folks I'm back as you can see the uh, pressure is completely released and the valve is down. Now I'm going to open the pot. Here it is. Ta da! So you can remove the bay leaf before serving uh, and nice and soft brown rice pilaf. There's little moisture, but 
it gets absorbed so don't worry about that because as it cools down uh, it gets absorbed. You can serve this with uh, any uh, lentil based curry or vegetable based curry, paneer or you can just serve this with plain uh, raita and that's what I'm gonna do today. Here it is simple brown rice pilaf that I made in instant pot. That's it folks, uh, please give it a try and let me know how it turned out for you. Uh, as always, please like and share and help me spread the word. And also if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. And I'll catch you next Monday with a new recipe. Thank you.